Today I'm joined by Will Taylor and we are building the perfect AFL footballer. Will, we have seven categories which are footy IQ, strength, marking, handballing, speed, endurance and kicking. Will and myself are going to see who can build the perfect AFL footballer. Comment down below who you think did the best. But before Will and I select our first attributes, let's get around the sponsor of today's video. Let's get around the sponsor of this video, NordVPN, the fastest VPN on the market that offers safe and easy browsing. Become safer online by hitting my link in the description down below. It's nordvpn.com forward slash Caden and you'll get access to four months extra on a two-year plan. NordVPN allows for the fastest VPN connection speeds possible. This means I can live stream sports like footy or MMA at fast speeds with no interruptions. There's nothing worse than pop-up ads on the internet. Thankfully, NordVPN has developed its own threat protection to hide those irritating and dangerous pop-up ads. NordVPN allows me to access my home content whilst traveling, so I can stream my favorite movies, TV show, and sports from my home securely, regardless of where I am. All for a subscription cost of less than a daily coffee. For me, that's a half-strength almond cappuccino. Controversial. With NordVPN, you have peace of mind that your private data is protected. If you're still not sure, try it out and you'll receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So click on the link in the description down below to access fast and safe browsing. Do you want to kick off? Yeah, I'll kick off happily. All right, here we go. All right, for my football IQ, I've gone with none other than Collingwood legend, Scott Pendlebury. I think he orchestrates a lot throughout the midfield and it's hard to keep him out of any perfect football player. Now, this is going to get interesting because we cannot share the same player. So if I had to go on Pendles with the left peg, you can't get him for IQ. Yeah. So now that you've locked in your IQ, I'm going to go down to strength. Paddy Cripps for strength. I've locked in Cripper for my strength. There's so many categories you could have Paddy Cripps for. Mm. You've gone with the strength. I don't mind it. Yeah, I just love when he's full chested out, coming out of the stoppage, big bodied mid. It takes three or four blokes to stop him. So Cripper is going to be my strength. I'm going to move on to endurance. And my player that I've uh, picked for endurance is none other than Marcus Bontepelli. Wow. Bont's out. Damn. <laughs> he's 190 centimetre midfielder he can just weave his way through any any pathway and he's the same as Pendlebury you could have him in several columns if not all the columns man the bond's been taken um I'm gonna go kicking and I'm gonna go with Nick Dacos um yeah, I don't mind that really happy with that once again could be speed could be endurance could be footy IQ but um to get that laser sharp boot of his into my player. Yeah, really, really stoked with that selection. I'm going to go a left of field one for marking. Uh, my marking is Aaron Norton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great call. I think he's, think he's holding the record for most marks in a, or intercept marks in a, mm. or contested marks. Contested marks, that would be the one. I'm going to go handballing and I'm going to go Lockie Neal. Um, Good pick. What Lockie Neal does when he comes out of the stoppage, which I don't see as many players do, is he faints, handballs so often. He sells the dummy better than anyone else. He does like little movements and defenders end up getting it out of the way of him. All right, my next category is strength and mm. a little bit of a controversial one, but um, I've gone for the big bad, Bruzzy Maynard. Big boy. He's a big boy. His tackling strength, I think, is second to none. He can crush packs, uh, go up as a one on three and make it a pretty even contest. So it's hard to leave him out. And he's just a big unit. I don't know if everyone would have this one, but I'm going to put Tom Stewart as my footy IQ. Tommy Stewart. The way he reads the play and intercepts and sees the field in front of him, I think's underrated. I know I could have gone like a, a captain or a midfielder. Yeah, Tom Stewart, the way he can see the, the play unfold, get himself in the right positions, it's as good as anyone else in the league. So Tommy Stewart's my footy IQ. Yeah, I don't <laughs> mind it. That's very left of field for me. I'm going to move on to speed. And uh, I believe he was clocked the quickest... Um, top speed last year. I'm going to go with Gary Rowan from the Geelong yeah. Football Club. Yeah. He's, as much as I'm very anti Geelong Football Club, uh, he's very quick. So quick. And he just makes uh, 
players look like absolute mugs. You know when he's at his quickest? When they're coming out of the half-back line, they get it to him out the back and there's no one between him and the goals and he just flies. Like, he literally flies. And also, he's chased down tackling. That's when he yes. gets really quick as well. He goes from gear one to gear six like no other. Yeah. Other. I'm actually... I was going to go my pace there. I'll, I'll go my marking. Um... So you've taken Norton, which is a great call. I'm going to go Max Gorn for marking. Good call. The height, the arms, the reach. When he goes in defence, he sort of looks like Darcy Moore. When he goes forward, he sort of looks like Max King, Max Gorn. Um, he, yeah, he, he's everywhere. So uh, honourable mention to Levi Kasbov, but I've gone with Maxi. I'm going to move on to kicking. And Nick Dacos was taken for the kicking pick, but... I'm going to go with his brother, Josh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to shake it up a little bit, but Josh, I went down to his pracky game at Icon Park and he just seemed to be able to pick the gaps and split the packs beautifully with his oh, yeah. left and right foot. So it's just as good as Nick Dacos with the boot. The way Benry in the booth, um, when he sung the song about pendles, when he says um, something that beautiful little chiseler, like yeah. little chiseler, I, I yeah. think Josh Dacos is... The best at the chiseler. Yeah. <laughs> he can he's, he's the chiseler. <laughs> Max Holmes. Sadi. I'm going to go the lizard for speed. Yeah. I'm going to go Nick Blakey off the half back line. Yeah, once again, when he gets to his top speed, he's hard to stop. So I, I think Nick Blakey's pace is ridiculous. It's funny that he was almost a key forward for a little bit there. Yeah. Or like a third tall or whatever. And now he's a premium halfbacker. All right. My last one is the handball. And... I wanted to try and weave him in in many other categories, but I think handballing suits him well. I'm going with the big LDU from the Kangas for handballing. Right, cool. He's a he's a powerful unit, but his handballs are almost second to none in the comp. He's he'd fit in in a lot of midfields, and he'd work well as a forward for a lot of teams. Yeah, he's developing nicely. Like I know he didn't burst out of the blocks like people thought he would, but he's now like in the top. 30 odd ish players in the comp or close to like he's Most now definitely. starting to become one of the better players of the comp um, I'm going to wrap things up with endurance and I'm going to go Sam Walsh yeah his, smart his running power is crazy he's always in the top of the kilometres for every Carlton game running 15 kilometres it's ridiculous what those boys do but um, yeah if I could have if my perfect player could have the endurance of Sam Walsh I think I think we've got a pretty complete athlete so let's just go over what we've got and then comment down below who has the better player who has the better afl player who would you draft first out of mine or will's player so from the top iq you've got scott pendle i've got tom stewart i think i think pendles probably wins there he's very, he's very class it's hard to oh. it's hard to beat him there um, for strength, I have Braden Maynard. I've got Paddy Cripps. Jeez, I'd like to see both those boys go at it. I yeah. think that's that's almost like a nil all draw. Absolutely. Marking. I've got Aaron Norton. I've got Gorn. Handballing. I went with LDU versus Lockie Neal. I think Lockie Neal's got him there. Yeah, I think he's he has as well. Just He's the master of the handball. Endurance. Endurance, I had Bonten Pally. I reckon, I reckon Sam Walsh is almost getting more Ks in the league. Sam Walsh is probably getting the most Ks in the competition. For speed, I've got the Lizard. For speed, I went with Gary Rowan. And then we've got kicking. I've got Nick Dacos. Yeah, I've got Josh Dacos. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Comment down below who has the better AFL player. If you want us to do it again in the future, let us know as well. And I'll see you for some more content very, very soon. Cheers. Oh,